All right, let's try this Easter egg again, this time with the machine gun. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing is shooting myself up like this, and you'll notice that I've got the turbo charge equipped as well, so I shouldn't have any trouble keeping my height to go all the way over to the right here. Still didn't work. Wow. Huh. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Eh, this is actually past PK Gan. This is made on April 6, 2011. Uh, this is a completely different save file just so I can show off this cave over here. As you can see I've got uh, Curly's machine gun here so I can demonstrate that as well. Um, but this is actually going to be a, a two-way split in the road here depending on how well you did in the game here. Anyway, level 3 uh, it has some propulsion power, the level 3 machine gun like this, and also may I add the um, turbo charge is also equipped to it as well, so that'll be ultra handy. Okay, now to explain this cave here, this cave is the last cave. Now, the cave that I'm going to be showing off here first is the worst cave, basically, if you're doing a bad job, like if you got the uh, booster 0.8, this one right here. Um, if you didn't save Curly, like, at all, you'll end up at this cave. So if you do, or I should say, if you do horribly at those two things, you know, try and save Professor Booster, even though it doesn't actually save him back at the labyrinth. I don't know how that works. <laughs> but, uh, you'll come across this cave. But, if you manage to do, if you manage to save Curly and restore her memory, uh, as well as get the booster 2.0, you'll get an entirely different cave. Anyway, let's just... Whoa, 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 whoa. I've just seen something is a little bit off here. I should say I felt something's a little bit off here. Aha! It wasn't equipped at all. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was pressing the jump button in midair. Okay. So, anyway, this is the much, much easier version of the uh, last cave here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Even though I'm kind of doing poorly. Anyway, this area right up here, go up to it. There's... there's nothing here. What's the point of this area? <laughs> I'm serious. There's really nothing there. I, I don't know why that's there. It's just there for show or something like that. Anyway, there's a lot of lava around here. Well, lava droplets, or at least I think it's lava droplets. That's just my best guess here. I'm just going to try and run through these critters here because I'm getting kind of cornered while my gun uh, recharges. As you see, the turbo charge really ch oh, charges up your gun quickly. Even though I'm doing a really, really bad job of this, I should be a little more careful as I go through here. Even though this place is easier, it's still pretty hard. <laughs> so, I think it would be in my best interest to go a little bit more carefully. Like so, okay. <laughs> and also you'll notice that there's uh, red critters and red bats in this area. They're really easy enemies, but the real problem with this area isn't the enemies, it's the uh, spikes and lava. They do the most damage to you. Uh, it's a lot harder in the hidden version of the last cave, so uh, get used to doing this the easy way if you're in this cave, because if you come back here in the hidden version of this cave, you're gonna be in for quite a surprise. Trust me, you're gonna be having a lot of trouble in this area, unless you're really good at the game or something like that. So, let's just hopefully get through this unscathed, and I just recall this place is a lot harder in the hidden cave, I'll show that a little bit later. Well, future PK Gam will show that a little bit later, I won't. Um, look out for these shafts here, yeah, you can actually drop down these places, it's kind of a really cheap hit into these spikes here, like if you fall down that way. It's really, really cheap, I fell down there, it tricked me because I thought it would, it would be like a safe haven to duck away from these critters, and haha, you can't reach me. Oh, I shouldn't be so immature. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attempt to run through this the best way I can. Yeah! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Go! 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 Yeah! This is doing. This is going very well. This is going really well. And ambush? Yes, I knew you were there. Okay. And that's it for this cave, I guess. That was pretty easy, even though I took a lot of hits along the way. But I explained it, I showed off the enemies. Oh, and on the way up to the balcony here, you've got some rabbles. You recall these guys way back from uh, Grass Town there. Uh, they're, they're a normal enemy now. 
So, but they're still no less deadly than they were before. Anyway, let's go over to the save room over here, and then I'll pass the torch over to future PK Gam, or I should say present PK Gam. Go! Thank you, past PK Gam. You are a valued member of the YouTube community once again. And this is the hidden cave version of that last cave thingy. So, yeah, as you've seen, all my weapons have dropped down to level 1. This is why I didn't even bother to level up the weapons in the last part. And may I add something? How did the Mimigas confuse me as one of them with that ginormous Mimiga mask and my robotic body? How? Anyway, this is one of those places that the Nemesis will come in handy for if you don't have the spur because of the fact that it works best at level 1, so it doesn't matter if you uh, lower its level. So, yeah, let's just lure the critters. These are red critters. And hopefully I'll be able to get through here unscathed. This place is pretty dang oh, hard. Uh, besides the fact that the enemies do a lot of damage, those spikes do a lot of damage as well, the lava does a lot of da- <laughs> He can't reach me. The lava does a lot of damage, and pretty much everything around this area is also very tight to get through, so don't expect this to be a very easy ride to get through here your first, first try. It'll take a lot of practice and a lot of knowledge to avoid the ambushes of doom. So. Wish me luck here, even though it, it, it's kind of, you know, falling on deaf ears because this is made ahead of time before I have to upload it, but still. <laughs> I think I'm going to attempt to get through. There we go. And we've also got some red bats here. They're incredibly weak. They only have one HP and do two damage, but they're a little bit faster than your normal bat. Uh, and they kind of have that up and down pattern, whatever you want to call it, the zigzag pattern, but it's so slow. It's so easy to avoid. See, <laughs> I'm going to drop down here and just avoid the weapon energy. As I said, this place kind of sapped your energy, and I forgot to mention you'll also be able to get all the weapon energy that you lost back a little bit later on, once you pass this hidden cave area, place, whatever you want to call it, the last cave hidden. So don't worry about it, just get through the cave, and use your spur and nemesis if you need to, to get through it! Oh! Ah, that booster. <laughs> anyway, just keep going. Oh, not this jump. As I said before, I am not good with the booster. Yeah. Well, the booster 2.0. Dang it, I hate that thing. Anyway, I can get this. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, jump carefully and to the right. Yes. Go. I'm doing pretty well though. I, I used to take a lot of damage through here. Maybe I'm better with the booster than I thought I was, but I'll probably take a load of damage just because I said that. Ah, oh, there we go. So, I called it. Anyway, I'll avoid these critters and look out for, for a critter ambush up above here. Gotta just look up, sh get ready to shoot up like that. That's a very cheap shot there if you ask me. And there we go. Now, this jump right here is pretty tricky because of the fact that you have to get up there on the peak of your jump, and it's kind of hard to get the timing for that down. <clears throat> and this right here is the next boss. Get your gun charged up. This is the red demon, if I'm not mistaken. He shoots three, and then he jumps up in midair to shoot, to shoot three more. Shoots three, jumps up, shoots three more. That's his pattern. It's very easy to dodge, very easy to get the hang of him. I just took that one hit right at the beginning because I was being an idiot. <laughs> and it's already over. And you get a prize for beating him. It's the clay figure medal. This is an optional item. You don't even have to pick this up whatsoever. And look at his expression. <laughs> He's just stuck there now. I guess maybe he was a clay figure of sorts. I don't know. Anyway, my uh, whimsical star there is going crazy. And we've got a lot of lava drops going here. Okay, we're safe. And a lot of critters coming up. Can you reach me? No? Well, I could just let my whimsical star take care of you guys. <laughs> so I guess this does come in handy for uh, low HP enemies like this. These guys only have 6 HP if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but they do so much damage when they touch you, so it's kind of a problem. <clears throat> and they're also pretty agile too, they, they just keep moving forward once they see you. And I'm going to attempt to go over all these guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Yeah, baby. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I forgot about these press enemies, and I'm gonna take a hit or not. Oh, that was a close one. And I'm at 26 health, so, but I should be pretty fine with this. Um, you see what's gonna happen here. You kind of leave these guys that fall, or just kill them like that. And wait, can I just like? Oh, this would be great if I had the um. The snake, just to go like right through the walls with these things, and if they hit you, that's an instant kill. Wait, let's see if I can... Alright, that's another way of doing it. So now what I can do is just shoot one of these, I guess, and then just like barrel through the rest of them. Hopefully this is going to go well. Okay, I got to clear out the critter, and... Booyah! That was awesome. Yeah, it's not much of a problem though, and I'm almost at the end of the hidden cave. Wow, or I should say the last cave. This went extremely well. I mean, a lot better than I thought it would. I guess I got a lot better at... <clears throat> a lot more better at this game than I thought I was, excuse me. And we're back at the balcony. So, oh, we got the enraged Namigas here, the Ravels. Looks like uh, he's already done a pretty good job of transforming them with the red flowers, unfortunately. Here is a helicopter. Gonna completely avoid that and go to the save point that uh, past PK Gam went to. Save. Well, actually, I should recover my health. Yes, <laughs> and then save my game. And then the next part will be the uh, quite a part. Let's just say that. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. As I said, this went really well. Wow. Ah, yes. One more thing I should mention to get down from here. Keep yourself as centered as possible. And that's how you do it. <laughs> if you don't keep yourself ultra centered, you are going to die. Okay, now I'll see you in the next part.